Kirk, what are you doing here? As you were able to explore the area without being harmed, I authorized the Yukos to go ashore. I have to show you something, Kate Walker. What is it? Is it important? Come on, Miss Kate Walker, come, okay? Below stinking rotten asphalt is sacred path of the migration. Miss Kate Walker must hurry and quickly bring out all ostriches so you calls can take this route. Listen, I do understand that you want to respect your customs to the letter. But moving your caravan through there is suicide. That avenue is completely contaminated. No blah blah, Miss Kate Walker. It is the will of the spirits. Miss Kate Walker saw what always happens when you call the poor spirits. But... Our shaman is stubborn like an old ostrich, Kate Walker. Do you think there may be another route? I don't know. For the moment, I'm concentrating on repairing an automaton to tow the crystal. As soon as I can, I'll try to find another path. Until then, please stay in the safe zones and be careful, okay? All of Baranor is contaminated by radiation. The caravan can't go that way. Contaminated zone. Nobody here, Tuk Tuk.
It's blocking the opening. I remember these locks. They're used to activate all of Hans's inventions. Oh, now I just have to find the right key. What was that? Nothing interesting here. There's radiation everywhere. Nothing interesting here.
I wonder where this passage leads. First runner-up in the 1979 Now Dusk Oblast Beauty Contest. Not bad. My Andre. Some Olympic medals. Huh? Who are you? And what on earth are you doing here? Oh, uh, hi. Excuse me. So you're the tramp that decided to use my cart? I had to go all the way up the track with the game I caught on my back because of you. I'm so sorry, ma'am. I'm accompanying this tribe, and we're trying to leave the park. I thought that that old cart was abandoned and that I could use it. I never thought I'd do any harm. Hmm. Should have looked around a bit first, though. It ain't abandoned for everybody. Hmm. Huh. Don't that beat all. There you are, you good boy. Mama'll have you up and running in no time. What's this key for? 
For activating the park automatons, you need to give them a good turn of the key every so often, or the poor things get all neurasthenic. Even cantankerous. Plus they break down. There. Listen, I didn't really want to get off on the wrong foot with you. Let me introduce myself. I'm Kate Walker. I'm accompanying the Yukul tribe on their migration to their sacred lands. And you're... Oh, an American. Yeah, yeah, I'd bet anything. Well, well, look at that. An American. <laughs> well, I'm Staff Sergeant Katerina Viktorovna Drostolova. Gold medalist in the shot put in the Moscow Olympics. And the widow of Lieutenant Andrei Grigorovich Drostolov. Veteran artillery officer and figure skating champion. Delighted to meet you, Katerina. It seems you might be just the person I'm looking for. Do you think you could let me borrow that strange key of yours? I needed to repair an automaton without whom, I'm afraid, it is impossible for us to leave. You've been really polite and you speak the same way they talk in those books, little lady. You do have a bit of backbone, I'll say that much for you. This key is extremely precious to me. As far as I know, your gang of gnomes and you might just be one of those gangs of bandits that hang around here. Scrap dealers looking in every nook and cranny for a pot of gold, despite the radiation around here. I saw those riffraff off with a load of buckshot. So you're... THE Katerina Drozdolova? First runner-up in the Naudask Oblast Beauty Contest in 1979? <laughs> yes, indeed, that was me. And that was also when I met my Andre. To be perfectly honest, I thought that somebody from the West could only possibly know me for what I did in athletics instead. Now that I know who you are, I don't dare ask for your key. I would never want to inconvenience someone of your standing like that. Stop, stop. Classy women don't fuss over each other. <laughs> Tell me exactly why you need my key, and I'll see what I can do for you. I have to get a park automaton back in working condition so I can pull our boat higher up onto the beach so the ostrich herd in the hold can get out. The Yukels and their herd have to continue their sacred migration as soon as possible. What's more, the longer we're stuck here, the more likely it is that we'll be caught and arrested by the soldiers who are after us. Hmm. If I say yes, you promise you'll bring it back to me as soon as you've finished? Of course. I would never betray the trust of the great Katerina Drozdolova. Okay then, I agree. Take good care of it. For twenty years now, it's let me keep my bag of mechanical fleas running. 20 years? I thought all the survivors left after the catastrophe. But it was already too late for him, unfortunately. Your husband was contaminated? Both of us did, actually. But it didn't do anything to me. That's just the way I was made. Or maybe I was immune because of all the garbage they kept giving me for years so that I could win that trinket at the Olympics. And since then, you've never tried to get to Valsambor? No. I heard that all of the irradiated survivors were sent to this clinic there, and they never get out. Besides, I have absolutely everything I need here. Somewhere to call home. I'm near my dear Andreusha. I have my dog and all the game I want. One last thing before I go. You said the air in the subway stayed pure. Does it lead out of the city? Yes. Just follow the tracks right behind my place and you can get out to the other side of Baranor through the Olympia Stadium station at the end of the line. That's the terminus. Not only do you avoid the radiation, but you also have electricity. It's one of the only circuits in the city that's still working. You just have to be careful. Some of the pipes gave way and flooded some galleries with lake water. Thank you, Katerina, for everything.
What news, Kate Walker? Hmm. Looks like Miss Kate Walker have time for much fun. This ride is the only way I've found to get to the park subway station. And what Miss Kate Walker find for you girls? I learned that the subway is safe. No radiation. I mean, free of all bad spirits, if you prefer. But most important, when you exit from the last station, you can leave the city while still staying on the sacred route of the migration. Where does the station exit to? Some kind of sports complex. Olympia or something like that. Olympia. Land of Martyrs. Good work, Kate Walker. I don't know what the Yukos would do without your help. First, we have to hoist the crystal onto the beach. How can we help you, Kate Walker? Well, your ostriches obviously can't use the cart to get to the subway line. Can the Yukos clear the rubble from the station entrance while I take care of the crystal? Go find volunteers. <laughs> See you later, Miss Kate Walker. Olympia. Ayahuasca didn't seem to like that. The truth is, I was told that the previous migration went through some bad times. A tragedy that left permanent scars. But you have enough to do for the moment. We'll talk about all that later. I'm going, Kirk. I have to find an old friend. Kate Walker? Hello, Kate Walker. So is everything set? Are we ready to go now? You have refitted the train spring, haven't you? And what about Mr. Hans Vorlberg? Is he on board? There's no more train, Oscar. And there's no more Hans Vorlberg. I beg your pardon? You were supposed to be dead, too. I installed your heart in another model just like you. And it seems to have worked. It's good to see you again, Oscar. Are you all right, Oscar? I... I suppose I am indeed, Kate Walker. 
To the best of my knowledge, I have not been programmed for anguish. I guess not. But you know, Oscar, you were always very talented. This new body is in great need of maintenance. It is suffering from osteoarthritic rust at every joint. Oscar, I need your help. Of course, Kate Walker. That is my function. Kate Walker? We're stuck here in this contaminated area, and we need to leave as soon as possible to escape the people chasing us. But the Yukles and their herd are locked in the boat that brought us to this poisoned beach. We need to hoist the crystal out of the sand and clear the rear hatch so the ostriches can get out. There's a vehicle on the pier over there that I think we can use, but it looks like only an automaton can drive it. I will gladly do what I can to help you, as long as this worn-out body should prove up to the task. Ah, uh, we'll make do, Oscar. You can trust me. Well, I shall indeed do what I can to help, Kate Walker. But, but, Kate Walker, my clothes. I don't have any clothes. Oscar, the Yukles and I have seen a lot worse. Believe me, we'll get over it. No, 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 and no, Kate Walker. It is completely out of the question for me to stroll around without covering. My mechanical intimacy is protected by industrial patents that ensure the durability of Voral Bird productions. I need clothing, that's all there is to it. Oscar, please! Do not insist, Kate Walker. I will not move from here without decent attire. All right, all right. I'll get you some clothes. Nothing. I must have forgotten something.
How charming. I cannot, my sweet Genia. Our love is impossible. Oh, Piotr. Why? Why is life so determined to keep us apart? Life is not to blame, my dove. It's our Ooh. families. What is going on here? I won't let you be forced into marriage with Tatiana. Thinking of you and that creature. Oh, I shall die! Just as I shall die if I must wed Yuri! Ah, very, very sad story, Miss Ketwalk. Piotr and Genia smooch smooch love, but families promise Tatiana and Yuri get money from stores of their old great uncle Joseph. Do you really think this is the time to be watching sappy soap operas? We need to have the entranceway clear before Olga and the Colonel get here. Tsa, tsa. You calls go back and dick. There's nothing we can do, my sweet Genia. We'll just have to accept our fate and try to live virtuous lives. We don't have to give in. Maybe... <clears throat> maybe if something happened to Tatiana and Yuri... An accident at the plant, for example. Genia, you can't be thinking. Katerina? Ah, you again. Here's your key. Thank you again. Hmm, what do you need? Clothes. For Oscar, my automaton friend. Huh? Well, for an automaton, he's a real prude. Your story isn't real clear to me. Anyway... Take a look over there, in the wardrobe mixed up with Andre's things. This is for opening it with. But don't take more than you need, got it? I'm still attached to that stuff. They're souvenirs. Kate Walker. Well, Kate Walker? What are you doing here, Oscar? The sooner I am decently attired, the better I will feel. While I was coming to join you, I came across a gang of hairy and very rude small folk. I will spare you the jibes to which I was subjected. Don't short-circuit on me. Here, take a look at this wardrobe. These clothes in here should fit you. How is my appearance, Kate Walker? Kate Walker? Uh... How can I put this? Please do not say anything else, Kate Walker. This is a very becoming work outfit. This is all an automaton needs. Now please, tell me more about the vehicle that you would like me to drive. It's stranded on the pier next to our boat, the Crystal. Well, in that case, I would like to suggest that we meet there, Kate Walker. Great. See you later, Oscar.
park maybe was very fun before. Now park very, very dark. Contaminated zone. Bairtla. Wait, very long if we must step so often. Ostriches cannot come out now. Nobody here, Tuk Tuk. Park seems sad, but still better than staying inside boat. Spirits get revenge. Ah, Kate Walker. What do you expect me to do then? I'm going to need you to use this vehicle to lift the crystal onto the beach. Do you think you can do it? You will remember that I was the driver on the Vorlberg train, Kate Walker. Driving this tractor is not something I will find difficult. I will just need some help to complete this mission. What do you need? First of all, you must connect the crystal to the tractor. Okay, Oscar. And then what? Well, that is all, in fact. As this tractor is actually still under electrical power despite the regrettably obvious lack of upkeep it has received in this abandoned area. To be honest, Oscar, I'm the one who restored power to the park. Oh. What excellent initiative. A true testament to your spirit of enterprise, Kate Walker. Thanks, Oscar. I won't be able to do anything until you have connected my cart to the crystal.
Miss Gatewalk. I need you to take that cable next to you and attach it to the tractor over there, please. Za za ru. Thank you. Yes, Kate Walker? Go ahead, Oscar. Try to move forward. Oscar, we're only driving the crystal into the sand. That is indeed annoying. The traction that this machine exerts is far too horizontal. It would be preferable to hoist the boat from a higher position. The cable would be at an angle, and your boat would move forward and be raised at the same time. Brilliant analysis of the situation, my dear Oscar. Uh, is there something else? Not exactly, Kate Walker. But you may at some point find you need to see further along the pier. Can you put some slack in the cable, so I can move the tractor over there? If you want me to move the cart forward, I'll need to have some slack, Kate Walker. Yes, Kate Walker? Go ahead, Oscar. Try to move forward. Walk. Can you take the cable attached to the tractor there and attach it to the Ferris wheel, please? Duke. Okay, Duke. Roar.
Nanook Metal, not good boiler maker. Yes.